you said this is okay that we are going live so this is what do you mean by live but okay never mind good evening um the appointed hour five o'clock p.m has been reached and i welcome everyone to this meeting of the amherst uh design review board my name is Catherine porter chair of the amherst design review board and i call this meeting to order Pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, and we are um, gathering in, in one place the public for the public hearing. Uh, the public will uh, not be able to attend this meeting as we are on Zoom. In other words, no in-person attendance will be uh, will be available today. We will begin with a roll call of the members of the Design Review Board who have been impaneled for the consideration of items on tonight's agenda. Board members, please say aye or yes to acknowledge that you are in attendance. Uh, Kath, let's see, uh, Erica Zikos. Yes. Uh, Tom Long. Present. Um, I don't think we have Lindsay Schnarr or uh, Catherine Davis, <clears throat> and maybe they'll be joining us. But we do have a quorum. Also in attendance is Maureen Pollock, Planner and Staff Liaison to the Design Review Board. The Design Review Board and its accompanying zoning regulations were created by a town meeting in October of 1983. The charge and purpose of the Design Review Board under Section 3.2 of the Zoning Bylaw is to preserve and enhance the town's cultural, economic, and historical resources by providing for a detailed review of all changes in land use, the appearances of structures, and the appearance of sites which may affect these resources. The Design Review Board exercises this responsibility by providing design review and recommendations to private applicants and permit granting boards within specific overlay zoning districts in the town center, the design review overlay district, and the town common design review overlay district. Design review is also provided for town departments and permit granting boards with respect to town projects anywhere in Amherst, which will result in substantial alteration to the form or appearance of a structure or site. All design review board meetings are open to the public and are recorded by town staff. Each meeting recording will be uploaded to the Town of Amherst YouTube channel for public viewing. The procedure is as follows. The petitioner presents the application to the board during the meeting, after which the board will ask questions for clarifications or additional information. After the board has completed its questions, the board will deliberate. If the board feels it has enough information and time, it will decide upon recommendations for each respective applicant application. Once the board has voted on its recommendations, the staff liaison will type up the recommend, recommendations for distribution to the applicant, board, applicable land use board, and building commissioner. And today's agenda is currently on the screen. So um, we have, I'm going to start in this order, Maureen. DRB FY 2022-14 Downtown Amherst Foundation to review the proposed changes to the entrance doors and exterior building facade for the Drake A New Live Performance and Music Venue under Section 3.2 of the Zoning Bylaw located at 44 North Pleasant Street, General Business Zoning District. So who is here tonight, Maureen, to... We have Gabrielle Gould. So oh, oh Gabrielle's her, here. Okay. Make okay. her a panelist. All right. Okay. So there she up. is coming up. And then if Gabrielle, if you could share your screen. <clears throat> okay. Oh. There we That'd are. That'd be helpful. Yep. Yeah. I can. Um, let me just also find the document. Sorry, everybody. Give me two seconds. Do, 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 do. Okay. 
Um, sorry, everyone. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay. Maureen, has anybody else joined us? Uh, did is Lindsay here? Okay. Uh, not yet. Okay, or Catherine. Okay. Um, Maureen, do you have those drawings? Yeah, if you go to the calendar, why don't you stop your share screen? Okay. Uh, if you go Thank to the you. town calendar, it's uh, um, part of this um, board, uh, the okay. meeting packet for tonight. Thank Sorry, you. I just, I need a type minutes, so I can't No, 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 no. I completely <laughs> understand. Just give me, just everybody like catch up on all your wonderful lives. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, how do I do, 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 do? everybody watching me trying to get this out? <laughs> yeah, don't be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's only live and being recorded. Uh, design review board. Okay, I'm getting there. Don't worry, there's only three attendees. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the most that we get. Um, so usually, yeah. Oh, we generally have four, don't we? Uh, gen yeah, generally four. <laughs> yeah, we've been pretty good about attending. So. Okay, great. Okay, I am coming back to you all. Now I just have to find where I put you. There you are. <laughs> Share screen. We're getting there. Okay, hi. So. Here we go. Here we go. Um, so um, you all know the exterior of this really beautiful downtown piece of architecture. Um, and um, we have realized that, and can you all see my arrow? Yes. Great. This is what we really need the main entrance to be. Um, and to do that and to be ADA and fire code compliant, it does need to be double doors that swing out. Um, so what we would like to do is take these uh, doors here and replace this section here uh -huh. um, with these same doors. Also back in here, we have dis discovered that there is backstage space because there was a floor through ceiling brewery from the first floor and there's no longer a brewery downstairs. So we were able to turn this into a backstage area. Um, for example, um, we met with the Amherst Ballet group today and their, their students are going to perform here and that's a perfect place for them to make their entrances and exits out of. We do not want this to be um, uh, uh, visual to the public. So what we would like to do is um, make this a, where's John Hughes drawing? Um, so this is the, this is the doors that you were looking at straight ahead, we would like to um, do this as a um, solid with the upper still glass, but do it a frosted existing glass transom, and mm -hmm. then make this a solid and we'll keep the burgundy and the black colors that are already on the building um, mm -hmm. as, as the trim and the interior. And then of course the doors would come over here and be the double swinging doors that you already have here. So keeping the same color schematic, just switching the doors and making this a, um, a solid feature. Yeah, nice. And so that would be, uh, Gabrielle, that would be a double door, but a with not, no paneling, right? You're still having a double door for mm -hmm. your... So Catherine, there, there yeah. will be a glass panel here, okay. transom yeah. panels on top, and then yeah. the double door. Double door, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. But the door I, where you have the wall, that will yeah. be a wall, not a door. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I mean. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. And and um, Gabriel, if I could, that the the door, the existing door, that's going to be infilled. I see it says um, MDF plywood to replace doors. Can you just clarify how that's going to be finished? What the exterior it, finish will be? Yeah, it will be painted this sort of either we're, we're actually would love to have your thoughts on it we were either going to go with this burgundy that ties in with the brick or we could do um a black um you know a square there um you know that that would just be sort of unobtrusive and and sort of disappear i think the burgundy would actually tie in nicely um and we're fine with that color uh -huh. scheme yeah. um it's not really um once it's not lit i think it's going to sort of disappear um 
you know, it's at the end of that long ramp way up. Yeah, I mean, I can kind of, I can see it as a place where you're going to post posters for upcoming events and, you know. Okay. Probably, I mean, at, at some point, we'd love to have the funding to come back to you with an actual old, uh, like old style marquee mm -hmm. panel that can go here, but that's, that's, that's another fundraising venture. Uh -huh. they're, they're, they're way more expensive than you think. <laughs> One at a time. <laughs> One at a time, exactly. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so Tom, do you have any questions or thoughts about this? No, it made perfect sense to me. And I can see that, you know, if you're doing it for ADA reasons, it's um it's an easy switch. I do think that you have that is an opportunity. It's an anchor. Um you know, to your walk. So people will be walking up there, they're facing that directly. So, I mean, I think having it a color is great. I think, you, you know, finding an opportunity to put up a bulletin board with upcoming events or anything that's not too ostentatious or, or um, in your face, but, but it's, you know, something that people will see as they walk up or wait outside. So uh, it's, it's an opportunity. So I wouldn't let it go either. Yeah. 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 I like the idea of color so that you're not walking into sort of a big black space at least for, try it out with the color and then perhaps you know as, as things move along you may feel that black's a better background if you're going to have a sign you know signs or posters yeah. up but uh, no i think that i think that i i hate i i'm lacking a better word i mean it's, it's a nice dark wine color yeah. uh, I, I don't think that's exactly burgundy but i think that we can pick up the the brick hues and make it look we're not going to try and faux brick it um <laughs> we all know that that never mm -hmm. looks good um so right. we'll just yeah, yeah if everybody here likes the idea of, of a burgundy yeah. we, we felt very comfortable with that yeah mm -hmm. Could I ask this? I've been wondering, this is not on your topic tonight, but are you ha having tables and chairs? Is it going to be sort of like a bistro kind of cabaret, or is it going to be rows of chairs? How, what's, what's the interior going to look like? Um, so it, it is, um, you're, you, everybody is welcome to come and do a tour. I'd love to show it to you. We just finished building our stage um, and put, taking out all the columns that um, we replaced with steel beams on the ceiling. So it is a beautiful, very long open space and it has three different ways that it can be set up. Um, one is uh, standing room only. So that would be for more, you know, uh, dance events or, or rock and roll events. And the second is theater seating. And we just this afternoon ordered all of our seats from uh -huh. a company that we found so that that's about 170 seats in a theater seating. Um, and, and we found a, a relatively as good as it gets for something that we actually need to be able to fold the chair. And then the third setting is with 24 inch and 36 inch round tables oh, okay. in a cabaret jazz style. So there's oh. three different layouts depending mm -hmm. on who the performer is and what that warrants. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. And are you serving any food or beverages up there? We have a full bar with a full liquor license. We will have two food items that are always available for free. Um, but our job is to complement downtown, not compete with it. So our goal is to get people to go out and enjoy our restaurants here and then come and enjoy a show with us. Okay. Okay. So any other questions from Erica or Tom? Uh, Maureen, do you have anything? To to ask or add at this uh, so point. So did you want to um, have any um, board recommendations? Mm -hmm. um, well, I heard Tom say that, you know, you maybe have a bulletin board um, or- uh, I think we don't want to like demand that- Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe the in the future consider it. Invest yeah. in a bulletin board. I think that the thing is um, the, the color, I think we're all agreeing yeah. that yeah. painting um that surface the matching maroon makes sense and then yep. kind of acknowledging that it might become a space for posting and okay right. yeah yeah okay yeah yep. I, Thanks. I agree yeah okay Absolutely. so Thank is you. there a motion that we uh, approve this uh the changes in the uh, entrance for the drake erica oh is tom moved erica second, second. okay um all in favor I say aye. aye. <laughs> With the three of us, aye. not a big production. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Carry yeah. on. <laughs> okay.
Yes, Good thanks luck. for coming in. Yeah. Bye. All right. Thank you. Bye. Okay. So next we have uh, Jeff Craze, and let me. Uh, well, Jeff is not here, but maybe uh, I. Um, ooh, is it Star Nine? Oh, are you representing the humble peach, Gabriel? No, but if they're not here, I will absolutely jump on. I don't know if Jenna, uh, I think you press star nine. Oh, okay. Okay. So she's coming on. Okay. So okay. I, you're relieved, Gabrielle, if you don't, if you don't want to stay. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, so we have Jenna, uh, okay. who it will be representing uh, the humble peach, which is okay. a new vegan bakery at the former um beloved yeah. henyon bakery yeah. at 174 north pleasant street hi jenna hi we're both here hi oh great hi how are you all great if yeah if you could introduce yourselves and um share your screen and explain uh to show and to explain your proposed um proposed uh changes to um to the exterior at 174 North Pleasant Street. I'll add, I didn't get a chance. You had emailed me photos of the existing conditions outside of the bakery. And um, you had a, a sketch of what what the um, out, the tables and chairs would look like um, outside. So um, just make sure to show that so um, board members can get a chance to see that. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. I'm Jet, actually Jet, like an airplane craze. Um, not Jeff, but. <laughs> Either way, usually confused with Jack, but, and this is- I'm Jenna. And we're the co-owners of what will be the Humble Peach, where is now the, or what, where, what was the Henyon Bakery as I'm, that I'm sure you're all familiar with. Right. Mm -hmm. And all we plan to do is recover the existing awning, which is now pink with a, green color and our writing, which I can show you. And I will pull that up right now. Are we sharing our screen, Jenna? She's better yeah. at this. Get it ready and then we can so, share the screen. See. Oh, there it was. Let's share screen. Share. So that's a... Uh, hmm. And um, yeah, and what's everything that's green now is currently pink. So it's really just. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be quite that green. Yeah. <laughs> that was the best that we could get with the. Um, yeah. Maybe not. Photoshopping. Even. It'll be a little bit of a darker. Yeah, probably. A so slightly, it depends on the vinyl fabric colors available. But, you know, some type of more, probably a darker green, hopefully. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be using Chilson's awning, which uh -huh. apparently did um, Henyon's awning years ago. Um, and so we're just waiting to get swatches from them of like what the actual color will be. And once we have that, we can show that to you guys, but we'd like it to be a green like this with the white writing. It's actually like a backlit. Um, there's lighting <clears throat> built into the awning. Hmm. And then some gold writing um, on the door window that's already existing. And then we'd like to add a little bit more gold writing on the top of the big picture window. So what are you going to, what's the uh, message? What are you going to put on, on what's your Well, plan? the writing I've added, what's on the door, which you can barely see right. is, um, breads, pastries, cakes, which will probably change a little bit, maybe soup, you know, you know, I'm not sure exactly what we'll put there. What we have on this big picture window, it says seasonal, local, sustainable okay. currently. Uh, okay. So just something of that nature. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And it may change. You may change it seasonally as well. Yeah, there, there maybe we'll do, yeah. But something obviously very simple and not really a change other than just color from what there currently is. And could the you door. show um, members the stock photos for the tables and chairs for outside and your um, floor plan for outside? Yeah, so that's that's the front part and then
Let me show the photo first. Did, do you see that? Do they see this? Yes. Yeah, so uh, here's our uh, no, no, we still see the humble, uh, we still see like the awning only. Yeah. Oh, okay, I think we have to hold yeah, on. Yeah, it's like a stop share and reshare. Yeah, you have to. Do you know how to do that, Jenna? Yeah, but first, go through these and find the right one. Use these arrows here. Let me show this first. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Share this. So this is just a little bit further back picture from the sidewalk. So you can see uh -huh. this whole that's patio space right. that's brick, that's part mm -hmm. of the property. Um, and then the sidewalk um, that's perpendicular to it is like the town sidewalk. So we would remove this bench and add seating to some tables and chairs to where that brick patio, very narrow strip there is in front of the picture window. It's about an eight foot wide strip. Mm -hmm. So then a mock-up of what that would be. This is a bird's eye view. <clears throat> now you have the town sidewalk at the bottom and the main entrance is at the top. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, so we're not, we're just still filling out the application. We're not sure exactly how many tables and chairs will be permitted, but it would just quite simply be to place tables and chairs that would be folding that would come in at night out on the patio during the day mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh probably they would be how do we share again they would be ones like similar to these mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. are they <clears throat> are you thinking about umbrellas um well, that's a good idea. You know, maybe it might be nice to have umbrellas. Of course, there are some complications with that, but that's a great idea. I don't know that I'm definitely not required, but at certain times of the day, it's pretty. It, it would definitely be nice to have yeah, umbrellas. That's something and to think about. You just have to worry about making sure you're aware of the wind conditions. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want any <laughs> umbrellas blowing around the street, of course. Yeah, right. Well, and also the what if you do, then we probably need to know the color so we'd have a sense of the whole yeah. aesthetics of the outside. I guess we would definitely probably just go with green again. It's very similar green, if not if possible, the same green as the awning. Mm -hmm. Certainly okay. in that case, okay. Okay. or or a white. I mean, if we weren't going to get custom ones, I guess we would just go with a simple sort of white yeah. or off white. Right. You know, patio umbrella style thing. Yeah, yeah. Definitely nothing. We definitely want to be, you know, low key and not, you know. Right, yeah. Just sort of look nice and. Well, I think the uh, share, are there umbrellas blue? Am I, I don't know if they, do they ever put umbrellas? Out? I've never noticed I, umbrellas there, but. Somebody help me with that, don't, do you know? Do you Eric? feel like they, oh man. I or, feel like they have umbrellas, but now yeah. maybe I'm making that up. You know, I, I'm wondering too, and I'm looking at the <laughs> Google Street View, and there's no umbrellas out front. Yeah, I can't I remember. Think... I seemed like they put out some umbrellas, yeah. but I may be wrong on that because. Yeah, I don't remember ever yeah. seeing umbrellas. Right. Okay. But I'd say thumbs up to either of those strategies, either to go with the the kind of neutral tone of the the white. Yeah, of your text or the same green as the awning. I think either right. one of those could work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I, I, my only thought is it might uh, it might be a good idea to clarify whether Share has umbrellas or what color they are because these two places are so close. So yeah, um, you'd like to have something that that complemented one another. Not, I don't know that green against blue is a bad thing, but yeah, and you may not even 
go with the umbrellas because you're going to have to get a table that holds them and you know so yeah i don't want to complicate things but uh, right just thinking once that topic comes to your head i mean what where does it lead you and uh, yeah. yeah what do you do i mean one of the one of the things you probably want to pay attention to is the fact that umbrellas will be potentially blocking the view of the your awning signage so uh -huh. You probably want to check that out before you go down that yeah. path because yeah. as soon as you put up one out at that edge um, by the sidewalk and then a series behind that, it's basically going to block yeah, people's view uh -huh. from different angles of yeah. the signage. So, um, yeah. which I think, you know, it's nice. You have, you know, baked goods and people will be wanting to eat outside and enjoy it. But, um, and umbrellas are always nice, but um, if it gets in the way of people seeing your signage. Um, uh -huh. So, Right, and we we probably have to bring all that stuff in at night just so it doesn't get stolen. Really, oh yeah, definitely. So there's that to consider. Yeah, also. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Gabrielle yeah. Gould has raised her hand. Uh, if you guys or um, we have want to take her comments. panel yet? Can we? Oh, sure. Yep. Just sorry, I just I'm I'm just wondering about um, whether the color and font that we saw on your uh, awning image is this do you have um, a graphic kind of package already established is this um, like the color scheme and fonts that you're using for your menus and and other things or is that still open to discussion that's that's open to discussion that's just a classic like old standard font like a yeah. you know an old-fashioned type of font that that but that all the the type is on the awning and you know we like we want to sort of go you know we're definitely going with simple sort of substance over style approach in general and um yeah so it has that, it has a kind of a, a hearty kind of trustworthy quality to it i just you know i'm thinking yeah. about like when you have limited space sometimes having that serif makes things a little harder to read um and so yeah. you could combine two maybe the humble peach is in something that is kind of like a simpler font and then plant-based bakery and all the text on the window that's a little smaller could be in the serif or something like that and then i was also wondering about the hearts which is such a nice callback to henyan because they have the double heart but um yeah. do you want it to be a peach like yeah what? <laughs> we, right the the thing is like the humble peach it's really um more metaphoric i guess of peaches uh -huh, in like okay. a person that's a peach like there's you know, there's not going to be peaches on the menu except when peaches are in <clears throat> season so it's not like we're all about peaches it's just the humble peach more as a a thing yeah. like a, to describe a person you know for example as oh there's such a humble peach <laughs> so so we might we were actually thinking of just eliminating the maybe the hearts altogether and not having anything there we're still working on a logo but that that was the other option was to put a little peach there in place of the hearts which which i we would do if there was to be something there it would be a little peach just just like that just a white outline yeah. of a peach which we actually have drawn but um yeah we just you know, still working on some of those small details. Got it. So, so Tom, did you have some thoughts? Uh, not, I mean, not in particular. I mean, I, if it's not really the, the final graphics, I think it's hard to give feedback on it. So I think, you know, we I'd probably want to see something before I could critique it, because it just seems like, you know, there's going to be no hearts and this may or may not be the typeface. It's hard to critique it. So okay. I think well, um, we're we're pretty into the typeface. I mean, I was just, you know, I'm you know open, obviously, to what yeah. you guys all have to say. So in that sense, you know, okay. that so was my understanding that, okay. of the purpose of this meeting is if, you right. know, if someone has uh, uh, I'm definitely open to changing. We're definitely open to changing our minds based on what you guys say, you know, of course. Right. No, no, I understand that. I mean, I feel like, you know, you guys, you guys have time to, or, or there, it seems like you have more creativity in you that you want to explore before you 
put it on a sign that's all um, yeah so. i mean i guess as far as we're because i mean if it would make a big difference to you all if there was those hearts were replaced by peaches or just eliminated then perhaps that's an issue but other than the potential changing of those hearts to peaches of just a similar white outline or just eliminating them we don't foresee any okay. significant changes okay. to the awning well yeah, in, no, in that case clean, yeah yeah i mean if, if that's the case then i don't think it makes a significant difference to you know your contribution to the town's streetscape whether the hearts are there or not there or our peaches are hearts um <laughs> And um, I, my my feedback to you with regards to design is that I think that the the text it just it feels dense, um, and that if you could I don't know loosen it up a little bit maybe by making it just a notch smaller or something like that. If you're going to stick with that font, then just kind of re reduce it a little bit. Right. Yeah. You mean the plant which which the humble peach or the plant based. It's, it's taking up too much space as a whole, I think, yeah. Erica. It's, it's pushing yeah. up against the edges. Yeah. It probably wants at least a foot or more around just to give it some space to float on that front. So, yeah, that's probably a good call because also if you're viewing it from an angle, you would be obscured by the buildings. Yeah. It'll be the humble pea, and then we'll have the wrong, <laughs> the wrong fruit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I do think it would be important for us to maybe to see the green that you come up with. Um, this may be, I mean, I think realistically, you're probably going to find a, a cover that's not going to be as bright, but probably more traditionally, you know, darker green, which seems yeah. like it would fit best in there, but right. uh, uh, might be worth us seeing that color. Could we drop off some fabric with you, Maureen, maybe? How would that work? Because obviously you can never show something on a computer right. screen and expect yeah. anyone to see the exact color. Yeah. yeah, that would work, wouldn't it, Maureen? You could get a, then send it to the... Send oh, it yeah, to sure. Us. I mean, if yeah. that works for everyone, I could take a okay photo of Eric? it, or, you, or each of you could stop by Town Hall to take a mm -hmm. look, uh, whatever yeah. would make sense yeah. on your end. I, I, mean, maybe... I could probably mail you all a little piece of it. I don't see how that would be. <laughs> too hard because you like yeah even with photos you take a photo it's going to look different depending yeah, on that's right yeah we have all right well yeah if you have um multiple samples you can um drop it off with me and i, I can mail it to to members mm -hmm. i mean is that something that would interest you erica and tom to see and to see the options for the green or are you okay if it came out this bright I mean, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of this particular brightness, but I also, okay. um, my guess is that this color will never come out in a fabric and nor would it yeah. even really come out in a paint quite so bright. So, yeah. Yeah, you I know, feel I feel it. like even if this were, it were this bright, but it was on canvas, it would, or, you know, vinyl, it wouldn't be quite as shiny and bright. So I'm, I'm not as bothered by it because I'm not afraid it's going to look quite, I don't think it'll ever look quite like this. Yeah, um, considering that what's there now is pink. Yeah. I think I think it's going to tone down. The, right. Yeah. Well, there's something to be said for having something that's quite bright. Um, yeah. Because I'm your not... your storefront is recessed. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I also think you want it to be distinct from the Knowles yeah. Flower Shop. Right. You know? Which it would be. Yeah. So I don't yeah. have any problem with making. I don't want to be, make a big deal about it. Uh, I mean, if, if we're if I see that we're comfortable with this and it, yeah. it's OK and actually it, who knows what color you'll find. But at um, any rate, uh, so OK, do uh, any other com? Where was Gabrielle? Did she did she want to say? say something marine she uh, yeah gabrielle if you still have something to comment on or ask a question you can press star nine i believe is she still there i can you hear me yes yeah oh okay um i just when when everybody was talking about the awnings and everything i i want to re remind everybody the sunset that of, of behind them and there are those big beautiful trees in front of them that give uh both Hastings, Cher, and Knowles, 
quite a bit mm -hmm. of shade in the summer months. So uh -huh. um, just when they're thinking about, you know, the expense of umbrellas and yeah. pulling them in and pulling uh -huh. them out. Um, remember, you've got shade. And also, um, I know it seems unfathomable, but we're all going to want to be in the warm sun again at some point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Any Thank other uh, comments? You, Gabrielle. Uh, any other comments or questions? Uh, if not, do I hear uh, what would be the uh, the recommendation from you, Erica? Was and maybe uh, Tom too to uh, try to pull in the um, uh, reduce the other... extents of the of the text on the awning so that yeah. there's for readability um, the text would be a little bit smaller. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Anything I think that's else? that's a good call. Yeah, we're looking back at the Henyon Bakery one, which we could show you, and it it is not. Yeah, we could reshare that. Let me share that. You want us to on top of each other? But yeah, you can see, see it. Yeah, that there's a, a little bit mm. smaller. Yeah, yeah. It's it's definitely in more. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe we'll go more to a width that's similar to their overall. Yeah. Yeah. Overall width. Okay. Of okay. both, you know, shrink both fonts together. And then were there any recommendations about the uh the um graphic, the heart versus peach? Yeah. No. no. Okay. I guess so. Okay, cool. Okay. Yep. So reduce okay. the font size of the signage on the awning so there's more um room around the border. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Or breathing room. Okay. Okay. And I think that All was right. it. That was it. Okay. Do I hear a motion that we approve this uh, petition? Okay. Erica. Tom. Okay. Second. Uh, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Okay. Aye. All right. Very excited, Jet and Jenna. When yes. are you going to be open? Well, hopefully April 1st, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're hoping for, but we'll see if things we're, take we're longer. But it'll probably take a little longer than that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, I hope it goes really smoothly. Now yeah, it's a bakery really. I can finally go to, so I'm excited about that. Oh, are you into plant based food? I am all plant based. Yep. Oh, nice. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. We, yeah, we're, it's like, we're just like, why is there not a place like this? I don't know. You know, why is there not a place? No, there is. <laughs> well, Very there's cool. Gonna, there's going to be. Yeah. No, well, well thank you so much. Tree. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm really excited about the Drake. I just have to say, by the way, yeah, <laughs> that'll be awesome too. And yeah, and thank you guys so much. Okay. That's really that's okay. really good feedback. Really appreciate it. Awesome. Sure. Good luck, All guys. Right. Very thank good. You. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> okay. Now, what do we have? Uh, uh, next up, we have um, graphic in impact signs to review a proposed building wall sign located at um, uh, Bank ESB at East Hampton Savings Bank at 250, 253 Triangle Street. And we have right. Chad here from Graphic okay. Impact Signs. Okay. So what, what do you want to, what would you like us to take a look at? Good evening, everyone. Um, can you guys see my screen or not yet? Not yet. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Um, here we go. So let's do this. So this is just the overall image of what we're looking to do. Um, so what we're looking to do is install 134 and three quarters inch high by 66 inch wide, which is 16 square feet um, permanent sign frame structure that has actually a changeable marketing advertisement panel inside of it. Um, the marketing image is projected to change six times annually. And prior to each change, a copy of that proposed marketing image would be sent into the office with the proposed date of the change um, of said marketing panel. The intent of this application is to have the permanent sign frame permitted in the way that you guys approve of it, but also have the marketing image changeable so that the marketing campaigns can be done in a more of a professional manner than just banners, but also allow their marketing image to change over the course of the year. Um, and just because of this process, they are afraid that if they had to come before the board each time before the change of a marketing image, that they actually wouldn't be able to achieve the um, advertising campaign that they're trying to do by having to come before the board and get the approval before they could start such campaign. 
Um, so we're just looking to install this on actually the rear of the building. Um, in addition to the wall sign there that's over kind of the entrance, this is where majority of the um, patrons park in the back of the parking lot there to use the entranceway in the back there. Um, so that's why we kind of chose this location because it's going to give more um, effect to public view. Okay. <laughs> so what you're showing us, is that what you, yeah, I'm, I'm a little lost. Uh, you showed on the, the earlier slide, a diagram so, of, of different sizes. Uh, so are you expanding the size of the sign to fit into those parameters there? Uh, no, so this is an additional frame that okay. is getting installed. I don't know if you can see my mouse here on the screen. Yeah, okay. Um, next to the rear wall sign there. So that sign frame is actually, it's kind of like a system that allows you to open and take the panel out. And then you can install a new marketing panel inside I of see. that. Okay, so you slip it in and out depending on what Correct, but it's campaign. soundly held inside the structure and wouldn't yeah. fall out ever. <laughs> uh-huh, okay. All right. And Chad, the, on the on that back wall there, the Bank ESB sign stays and there's a banner over the door that says now open as well. So all of that's anticipated to stay in place? The Bank ESB sign over the door is to maintain in place, but that now open banner actually has been removed. This is an older photo. We just kind okay. of superimposed yeah, there's a lot it on of it. When, there. <laughs> yeah, I know we do have snow, but hopefully not that much there. <laughs> Um, but no, we just superimposed on an old image to kind of show the placement so you guys had a better understanding about where it's supposed to be in relation to the other signage. Uh, can I ask a question about the, the height? Um, is there a reason why it's so high? I mean, uh, from it doesn't seem to be super legible from the road either way. Um, well, at least the scale of the type when people are driving by, um, but maybe more so to people in the parking lot. And it seems like it's a little high for that, but I'm just curious what the rationale for the height was. It's to be at the same height as the rear wall sign there on the back of the building. Yeah. It's keeping the same elevation um, kind of across the way. And I know that this isn't really a fast travel area in the back because of the way it's a parking lot going away to the drive up. So that way, yeah it being on stationary on the side of the building, you're more likely gonna be walking up to it to give you more time to read it. So that's why we also place it up there. And also being a UMass alumni, I kind of know how some college kids are on the weekend. So we were trying to prevent um, vandalism to any of the signage so they can't yeah. get up there with a marker or anything like that. Yeah. So I have a question for maybe Maureen. Um, how, how have these been approved by the board in the past in terms of for instance, I would understand that we could approve the frame, but are we approving this graphic and then every graphic that comes up or like how, what is there a procedure by which no, these have been done in the past or? No, uh, to be honest, I, I haven't, um, we haven't, uh, I haven't uh, received this request uh, through the ZBA or, or through the design review board of um, rotating signage. Yeah. Um, so, uh, well, um, the SUFA signs that, um, if if folks remember, the town put up um, these electronic signs, or I think just yeah. one of them at the corner yeah. of Amity and and um, yeah, North Pleasant Street, and that does rotate, and the board did approve that um, for that to rotate um, that yeah. that sort of messaging. Mm -hmm. um, to be honest, I haven't really looked at that sign, so I, I can't really comment on yeah, if that's, that's changing question, or not. Yeah. But I don't recall us doing it, that. Um, is is this same? Is this sign also on the front? I when you started, or no, no, no. That was just the, the, the okay. render. Yeah, that was right. just the overall that's rendering, so you back. guys can see yeah. close up details and kind okay. of have everything yeah. called yeah. out for you. Yeah. Because I mean, and for me, it's, it's easy to prove this. Is that me? No, sorry, it's easy to approve this um, as is. Like, I don't see anything offensive in this particular sign, um, but it's hard to imagine what if they did something with an image or something that we didn't approve of. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure what that would be, but, um, 
but I, I'm I'm curious if there if if and when we approve this, do we want to see these before they go up, or are we that concerned? I'm just interested in the other board members' thoughts on this. Yeah, interesting. Uh, uh, you mean tackle this one first and then consider? Well, I have a question for Chad. Frame. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I have a qu uh, question for Chad, and I get uh, the uh, uh, for the bank themselves is if they're creating a um, sort of a mar marketing plan for the year or years. You know, do do they have the marketing images and graphics planned out for the year? Um, Unfortunately, so, they no. don't. So we kind of get these. We'll probably get the request two to three weeks prior to them wanting to change the image of the start of their new marketing campaign uh -huh. and that comes from their marketing department and so we just fear and the bank fears that given that time frame for us to get an application into the town to get before the design review board meeting to have the actual said meeting to get approval that they're going to be kind of several weeks inside that marketing campaign already and then that advertisement will then kind of become null and void and then they have to be into their next one already. Um, so that's kind of why we had the intent that as soon as we get notified of a marketing image change that will immediately send that app, that rendering and that image into your guys's office with the date of the proposed change. That way you guys do have an internal way of looking at it. And if you see anything that you don't particularly like or want to question that you can bring it then back to us. And then we can go to the bank and kind of halt that process and kind of reconvene as a group here, but kind of working together and kind of making yeah. that so the marketing campaigns can kind of keep moving. And can, I mean, I don't want to speak on their behalf and knowing that they're a bank and a financial institution. I don't foresee them ever kind of doing any real message outside right. of kind of like the pre-checking and kind of APR interest rate, things like that, that they would never really use an image of any kind of malintent or anything like that. But like you said, I understand the concern, and that's kind of why yeah. we're trying to work with you guys. As if we give it to you, it kind of in advance of it being installed. With that, yeah, and I think that's also just a question of like right process, right? So yeah. Making sure that because we are a, a you know committee of the town that we yeah. that we do it within. I think mean, I think I feel comfortable present approving this one, and maybe there is some conversation that needs to happen about the appropriateness of the proposal that you suggest, which, you know, sounds fine to me on the surface, but I just don't want to step yeah. outside of our bounds. Yeah, and I, I can certainly you... speak to the planning director and the building commissioner about, uh, you know, the bank's sort of proposal to the town. Um, okay. Traditionally, the town does review, you know, what is in front of them and and if there are changes to uh, a, um, a sign for instance it would uh, trigger a, um, a a new review with the design review review right. board so so you're you're pitching a new creative idea <laughs> which could yeah. be fine maybe um, but we would want to run uh, run this idea through the inspection services and uh, the building commissioner okay. and to the planning uh, director okay. just to make sure right. that this is um, something that they would entertain. And then additionally, you know, you, you'll need a building permit for this uh, sign here uh, that's being proposed. Um, would this mean that, um, you know, additional building permits uh, would be needed for um, the, the sort of rotating signage? Maybe not, but I, I, to be honest, I, I'm not, not really mind sure. Because the frame is the thing that needs the building permit, not the changeable vinyl sheet inside, right? I would, being that I, I don't issue building permits and I'm, um, I, I, I can uh, say that I, I, I like when I can say, I don't know the answer, but I can find out. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Yeah. To be honest. No, that makes sense. I think that's my mic. Sorry about that. Um, one thing I think um, we've done in the past is we put conditions where we've asked them to send us something at a later date. And we've reviewed those things at a later date, but might have been an update to a sign that we haven't seen and it was emailed around for us to say yay or nay to. So I feel like there are some conditions that we put on things that allow us the opportunity to view them 
not in full meeting and to yay or nay them. So mm -hmm. I, I mean, I don't, I'm not saying we should do that now. I do agree, Maureen, that you should have this discussion, but I think there are things that we've done um, at a distance in the past, um, which is based on a condition that we put in um, something that was approved. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, <clears throat> in my mind, I think we it or probably would help if we had a clarification from the inspection commission um, as to how far we have to uh, extend this kind of surveillance or, or you know review of the signs, because I think uh, I mean. All around town, we've seen people put put up per temporary signs over and over again. Uh, and we don't have anything to do with those except the too many signs on the window. But in this case, uh, I think we there the banks a good neighbor uh, wants to be do the right thing. So uh, I'm you know I'm okay with us approving what we see now and then seeing if we get some clarification about um, going forward, whether we have to keep looking at their signs all the time. I don't, I mean, it's that sort of the essence of what people are, can we agree on that? Is that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I agree with that. And I think it's, I, I would like to let Maureen yeah. talk to who she yeah. needs to talk yeah. to Let's, to figure out if any right. of these proposals yeah. are feasible. Uh -huh. Right. And, but in the meantime, uh, it sounds like the board is fine with the sign Almost. as shown. Almost. Almost. Okay. I think I wanted to carry over Tom's initial question about the location of the sign. Right. I appreciate that you're wanting to put it up high. I agree that you know at some point the font gets a little small to see from a distance. Um, but, and I also appreciate that your location is aligning it with the top of the sign, but I do think that the bottom edge of the bank ESB sign above the door is the more recognizable datum. And I think you might want to pull it down just a couple of brick yeah. courses to align there instead of with the top. I want to say just based off the rendering, it could be like our designer could have it like as intent of that way, just based off the skewing of the building, how it uh -huh. looks. I know I'm so, trying to follow the line. Of the yeah, that's I'm trying to follow the brick line myself the entire yeah. time. I didn't want to like zoom yeah. so much on the screen to be looking at that. Right. Um, yeah. But that is our intent to kind of keep it within that same band. So if you want us to match the bottom elevation, we can. Or yeah. if you want us to match the top yeah. elevation, yeah. we can. If yeah. it, it's up to you guys. Right. Yeah, I agree. I agree too. Yeah. I mean. Okay. So uh, have the sign align with the bottom of the existing yeah. bank ESB right. uh, sign over the door. Yeah. And yeah. and potentially to not ping my my OCD every time I drive by, um, <laughs> I would love um, whatever whatever that distance is at the top to match the distance on the side. Um, so if that makes sense. Oh, I, I'm <laughs> with you 100. percent I am the same way. Location view B, but not in location view A, and I'm. Uh, Losing my mind. So no, uh, I'm the same way. That drives me crazy. I am very about being center oriented. So yeah. if there's that space yeah. that we're going to match the side to the top there. So yes, yeah. we will Beautiful. make sure it is adjusted correctly. Uh -huh. Good. Okay. Any other thoughts or recommendations? Uh, okay. So uh, do I? So Maureen, we have some suggestions. What that. I, I have another add. suggestion really quick though, Catherine. Oh yeah. Um, before I interrupt. Um Chad, the um for me as a designer, the, the yellow and the green aren't working in terms of legibility. So I'm having a really hard time reading and I got old person glasses, but I, I still I I think I would have a really hard time reading yellow on green in in broad daylight. So, yeah, I agree. Um, totally agree. That might want to flop to one of their darker colors, um, or back to white, or some other transition because I think the yellow on green is not going to fly. I think so too. I think we have recommended that to them to make that a darker, a little bit of a darker color, using yeah. that darker green that they have in their logo to kind of pop it out better. Because we had the same suggestion that the gold is kind of being lost there in the green background. Yeah, 
it's a waste of agreed thank you effort. but yeah. i ultimately had to leave that up to their marketing department that's, that's kind of true. their campaign so <laughs> this can be but now this will be a recommendation to the bank yeah. so yes <laughs> well actually it's a recommendation to the building commissioner so maybe, so maybe they'll that listen. will have a little maybe well, i will <laughs> yeah, yeah because those are good suggestions okay um do I hear a motion that we approve the petition with uh, additional uh, recommendations? So moved. Okay, Tom and Erica, do you second that? Okay, all in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Okay, aye. all right. Um, and this is for just that one sign as is right now, and then Maureen will review a process yes. and come back yeah. to it. Right, okay. get back on the others, okay. Thanks, All right. Okay, Perfect. Thank, thank you. you guys so much. And Maureen, <laughs> okay. I'll be in contact to see how we should keep moving yeah. forward with it. Yeah, okay. yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Have a great Thanks evening. For coming. Thank you, you as well. Okay. Is there anything else, Maureen? Do we have no? Any more? So I, I did write all the memos from the December 13th meeting. I just need to cut and paste it into meeting minutes. So it is sort of done. I just, uh, sorry okay. about that. So, right. um, no, that uh, the December thirteenth meeting minutes aren't ready. Um, I got but nervous. We, what? I, looked at, I looked at the agenda and I'm like, wait, I didn't read those. What? <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I'm relieving you. Yeah. Um, we do have a general public comment period. All right. If we want to jump and to do that. Do we have anybody from the public? Yeah, on the phone. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're calling no, uh, if uh, um, if anyone from the public wishes to speak, I believe you press star nine. Um, I did have one, um, if you have a few minutes, I did just get an inquiry from the health center at the Bangs Community Center. Um, they're, uh, they're not here, but if you would give me a minute, I would like to show you what they are proposing. It's, um, and then I could even just give them preliminary advice for them to come back. Um, let me just pull it up on my email. Um, so it's the Hilltown Community Clinic, HCHC. Um, they have their entrance is at the, um, if you're uh, familiar with the new ADA accessible ramp that was just constructed by the mm -hmm. town um, at the Bang Center. Um, maybe not. Um, uh, this is, let's see here. Let me, I just opened everything. View. So this is the, it's not the greatest, um, I'll try to orient yourselves. Um, this is the back of the bang center. So I believe that would be the east side of the bang center. Uh, the Clark house and the Allen Wayland buildings are, to the east of, of the bank center um, where I'm hovering my, my mouse here. And um, the entrance to the Musanti Health Center is back here in the rear. And um, they have this one sign here and I, I can find a better image um, that is to help uh, show, it's a wayfinding sign to help show where the signage is, uh, where the door is rather. And um, they're saying that, you know, that sign is, is really blocked from existing trees and they would like to um, either move this one sign and move it over to the far right here or, um, act or actually have a duplicate sign and add it here. Oh. Um, they would like to speak to their staff about this middle window because they would like to have some light come in. And then um, I did get dimensions of this sign and I got dimensions of this building wall and they only um, for each build pursuant to like a uh, section. Um, I can't think of it right now, um, but I think it's section 8.20 um, in this uh, zoning district. You cannot exceed 10 percent of this of uh, signage cannot exceed 10 percent of the building wall. If they were to add uh, signage on each of these windows at that same size, that would actually be at 11.1 percent. 
So they could only actually add a maximum of two signs or maybe reduce the, the, the dimensions of the signs themselves, it's just very ever so slightly. So um, I didn't know if you had any uh, suggestions or if you would you know, want to just entirely hold off until you maybe you, you maybe walk by and take a closer look or if you're say or maybe you'll say, oh, that's fine. Just duplicate it or move it to the right. Um, just wanted to hear your initial thoughts. I mean, one, one thought I have is that I, I don't necessarily think you need to fill the whole window is a thought, you know, that you can have vinyl text on the sign on the window on the right that says entrance that way and it's just vinyl text it could be much bigger the arrows could be much bigger and it won't block light and it won't require any you know extra permitting or a change in uh, duplicate signage so i mean in that sense this whole left one could be a new graphic that's just the logo and you know it can get bigger and be their brand and the right side could just have the you know an entrance final text um, and keep it really simple. That, that would be a thought. And, um, you know, I like color on the windows, but I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think Tom makes a great point. And I have to say, I don't see any reason to duplicate it. I can no. totally understand why they're finding that the one panel that's kind of tucked in the corner and behind right. the tree is right. um, hard to see. And, yeah. and so, you know, I can see that Marine, right where your cursor is now, that that window panel closest to the corner would be the one that would be more visible. It's the, you know, it's the first window you see, the arrow is still gonna point you in the right direction. So, you know, it, moving moving the existing sign, if that's the affordable option, then I think that makes sense. And then if there is a, the duplicating, uh, information possibility then i like tom's idea of just you know a, a vinyl on the window that is as much information as they need rather than completely blocking those two right. window panels yeah mm -hmm. i agree i like tom's uh, and also i mean i agree with erica too but having two big signs there that's ridiculous and no, yeah necessary. i like the arrow and and as you say, they can then redesign that one or take it out if they. But they need a sign there, and so they probably want to have the the logo, etc. But so is that, uh, Maureen? You want us to think more about that at another time, or uh, are, up to you? I I think that there they would be. Um, well, let me run it by her if she okay. likes your. Um, suggestions and it's fine just to move forward with that then yeah. and and you're fine with that then yeah. then they could just move forward with yeah. their what if they need any permits through right. um yeah. the building department but if she comes back to me and says actually i have another idea um yeah. then maybe sure. then we sure. could add it to a future right. agenda but, um yeah. would that work um, yeah i would say okay. that the definite consensus is that we wouldn't want two big not to duplicate that. Okay. Okay. So, uh, okay. not to replace that. Not to duplicate with another panel. So, uh, okay. Um, anything else? Did nope. we didn't have a public call after all? Then no. We, okay. No one indicated. Um, all right. Okay. All right then. Do I hear a motion that the meeting be adjourned? So move. Um, Okay. Erica, okay. all in favor? <laughs> okay, the meeting is adjourned. Lindsay have a nice evening, regrets, everyone. By the way, she um, I texted her and she said it just didn't. It slipped off her calendar and she yeah. she missed the date. Yeah. So yeah. I hope we have made her proud of our decision. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she I wouldn't did. come. <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> Until the next time. Until the next time. Take care, right. everyone. Bye bye.